MCC Playlist Update brings a never-before-seen mode to Combat Evolved and a new rotational mode. But what else can we do with these new rotational modes? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel help more people stay in the know of everything happening in Halo. So let's get right into the content here. As we get our weekly playlist updates for the MCC postums that's gone online to the Halo Waypoint forums, so let us know what's happening with the game. And right now what we're getting is a new playlist for MCC and that's rotating in for Fiesta is going to be SWAT. We're going to be having SWAT for all the games within Halo, including Combat Evolved, which is kind of interesting since SWAT was a game mode that was a community created game mode back in Halo 2 days. Well, now you get the chance to play it in Combat Evolved. So you were probably wondering now what's going on with my Fiesta, as in it was a previous act, uh, playlist that we were able to play. And Fiesta now rotates out as the rotational thing and gets mixed in with the action sack play. So if you still want to keep playing your Super Fiesta or Fiesta modes, play it in action sack and you'll be able to find your modes that way. Now CE SWAT, of course, just mainly focuses on the 4v4 experience, but there's also a free-for-all experience as well with various of your you know, typical arena style maps for Team Slayer and for FFA SWAT will be available. Uh, if you guys are gonna try to play that, I would suggest jumping on that as soon as possible because it's a bit of a lower playlist when it comes to people jumping in and wanting to play it and for population wise. So for the map pool that we have for these two different versions of SWAT within CE, for the maps we have for Team SWAT, we have Battle Creek, Damnation, Prisoner, Hang 'em High, Chill Out, Derelict, and Wizard, where the free-for-all version of SWAT within uh, CE has Battle Creek, Damnation, Prisoner, Hang 'em High, Chill Out, and Derelict. Also keep in mind, during this time, we're all kind of cooped up into our own apartments and houses and things like that, guys. There's currently global double XP happening right now for the MCC and also for Halo 5 as well for your 152 grinders out there. So this is actually going to be a great place for you PC players to jump in and play as you get a ton of XP for SWAT. Like if you do well in a SWAT game, you still get your full performance XP. And if you get enough like assists or anything like that, then you actually get some more uh, teamwork medals as well. I did notice that uh, teamwork was a little bit, medals were a little bit harder to come across. So your teamwork XP will be a little bit lower than your normal 4v4 XP. But the thing is though, SWAT games play very quickly. And it's great for trying to grind out that XP if you're trying to rank up in uh, CE for PC, trying to get through that one through 100 tiers right now of your season pass, if you're still trying to get through that right now, which I would highly suggest you do that because I'm pretty sure that we will be receiving a new season when, come, when Halo 2 Anniversary rolls around here, probably sometime in April or maybe even May. Now, I would also like to clarify that SWAT is going to be available for all the games within the Master Chief Collection. I'm just focusing on the CE side of things just because we've never experienced it before so it's brand new a lot of questions need to be answered and so hopefully i'm providing it in this video for you guys uh though i do really enjoy swat say in halo reach and in halo 2 and even in halo 3 as well but definitely halo 2 and halo reach are my two favorite versions of swat i think using the dmr with the bloom honestly with swat plays out rather well helps you pace your shots and so then you're not really people who spam their shots like they do in like in halo 2 or halo 3 or pretty much anything else that it helps uh you know, benefit people who are much more accurate with their shots. Obviously, with Bloom, you still will get your lucky random shots, but for the most part, I do like the Bloom mechanic in Halo Reach for SWAT. Call me crazy on that one. But, you know, I do really enjoy the mechanics of Reach just in general, though. But, of course, it all started back in Halo 2. Halo 2 Classic is where it was just a fan community, fan made mode made by the community. People just loved playing in custom games back in the day when people were all about playing custom games. And that's where it was born and raised in. Turf comes to mind. It's one of my favorite maps for Halo 2 SWAT. So I definitely want to jump in and play that, guys. If you get a chance, like I said, again, for your Xbox players, that, um, you know, it's a great way to gain, gain XP, uh, especially in the Halo 2. I've heard I've seen in Halo 2 Anniversary, great XP gains where if you're playing only on PC guys you definitely want to play CE. CE deals out a lot of XP. But yeah free for all SWAT 
Team SWAT is going to be a great way to get your XP grind on there, guys. So hopefully jump in on that. Now, this does also make me think, like, yeah, this is great to have SWAT come back into Halo MCC as it's a fan favorite mode. I do enjoy it on some maps, especially in Halo 2. But this also makes me think about other modes that they could possibly pull off when it comes to playlists that I think would be really fun to see within the Master Chief collection. As there is so much content to play around with, I feel like it gets a little underutilized when you just bring SWAT back into the game. Recently on my YouTube channel, I put up a poll for you guys to vote on about your thoughts on what it would be for a mode that I think would be freaking awesome to bring into the Master Chief collection. That would be Blood Gulch 24-7 as a rotational playlist. I think that would be awesome just your team slayer capture flag king of the hill kind of your stick maybe even ball even just kind of rotated in with all that mixed in the awesomeness right there and just playing like big team battle blood gulch i think would be just crazy fun to play all over and over again and you guys seem to agree there was over 220 plus votes voted in with this poll and 81 percent of you said yes i would love to play a blood gulch 24 7 playlist i think that would really bring back a lot of people it back to the game because you know blood gulch is an iconic map within the halo franchise especially when it comes to combat evolved that, that that's the new game that's recently been released so you can kind of get with making some tailored rotational plays for that specific mode you can probably even rotate out the ar fully auto non-precision btb that's probably still in the game and rotate in for big team battle blood goals 24 7 that would be freaking awesome i would love just to play that map over and over and over again because it's just for ce it's a really fun map it's a little chaotic it's not the most balanced yes i would agree with that but it's a ton of fun and so what i would like you guys to say but would be what kind of place you would like to see within the mcc as a kind of a unique more mode you know i do see similar playlists coming in with different kind of games especially say with call of duty with their rotational playlists that they have shoot the ship which is kind of like shoot house and what's a midship or shipment 24 7 playing in there people love their 24 7 playlists there's always you know, plus with the previous call of duty is a nuke town 24 7 playlist that became like permanent because it was so popular and i think if you want to do something like that with master chief collection i think that would be pretty freaking awesome because let's be real a lot of the cebtb maps are not exactly the most fun or action-packed the play really i feel like or are just way too big for just to have uh, 16 players in like so many of the maps i play in cebtb i'm like you can fit like 40 people on these maps like they're gigantic i'm just like walking for years it feels like trying to get into some action and blood gulch it gives it to you right away and it's a super fun map. Everyone knows it. Everyone loves it. I think it'd be a great addition. But again, like I said in the comment section down below, leave a comment what you would like to see as a kind of a special MCC playlist because I do read all of them and try to apply the most of them as well. And if I find any good ones or we see like one that's really highly rated or if someone votes up uh, one really highly, I can even make a video on it or share it with like some of the uh, Halo devs as well to let them know like, hey, this is what some people are kind of wanting. Uh, what do you think about that? And you know, uh, a lot of the developers at 343 are very open to having a community feedback when it comes to their games and i think that would be awesome so yeah but right now guys we have swat free for all and swat team versions for ce to be able to jump into play i played it it's pretty fun it's a little tricky because we all know the ce magnum is a bit weird and it kind of works in mysterious ways you gotta really lead your shot so you actually can move around a bit more than you could like in halo 2 or 3 or halo 5 or anything like that so it does allow for a bit more movement without the whole thing but you also can get picked off across now because well that's the ce magnum in the nutshell right there pretty much so yeah, get down those playlists, guys. Grind out that XP. Set yourselves up for when Halo 2 Anniversary comes out. I'm pretty sure we'll get a new season as well as uh, the development team for MCC was trying to get some feedback on different nameplates recently. And so, uh, as we mentioned that in the previous podcast episode, if you guys want to check that out, uh, link would be at the end of this video. Or just check out the playlist for the podcast as well if you want to do that. That's all the news for you guys. If you like this news informational video, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps with the video and channel a lot, guys. It helps you out more than you think it really does. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to keep up to date with anything with it, everything going on, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. Keep yourselves up to date. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a place to all 
the news happenings in Halo, MCC, Halo Infinite, everything like that. Just check out that playlist down there. It'll keep yourselves up to date with everything going on. So keep you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.